Well, it is finally here, the institute that you have chosen for us to review. IITs are the top choice for technical education in India. They are known for the exceptional amount of funds that are brought in for research. And today we feature an institution that has caught our eye with its outstanding progress on the NIRF table. Welcome to College Suggest. And in this video, we take a close look at the Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications on your favorite college details, college comparisons, courses, careers, and so much more. As always, we will only consider the facts that are submitted by the college to the NIRF for the 2019 ranking. We leave the link in the description below. IIT Delhi was established in 1961 and was inaugurated by Professor Mayun Kabir. IIT Delhi was declared an institute of national importance under the Institutes of Technology Act 1963. Recently, IIT Delhi has been given the status of Institute of Eminence by the Government of India. Only a few public institutions have been granted this honor. IIT Delhi has shown some continuous progress across the years and has been ranked at number 2 by the NIRF. IIT Delhi has earned its spot at the top by delivering an extraordinary curriculum and developing its research activities. IIT Delhi is situated at Horskas in South Delhi. The institute is about 14 kilometers away from the New Delhi railway station and 10 kilometers away from the Indira Gandhi International Airport. IIT Delhi's campus area extends to 320 acres with many interesting topographical features, numerous buildings and wide roads. The campus presents a spectacle of harmony in architecture and natural beauty. The main academic building houses various teaching, research and library facilities. The campus also provides other amenities such as staff clubs, a hospital, shopping centers, banks, ATMs, a post office, a community center and playing fields. The library has a rich collection of books, especially on science and technology. There are over 1.9 lakh books, journals, theses, and technical reports available in the library. The institute has 11 boys' hostels and two girls' hostels on campus. Each hostel is self-contained, with amenities like reading rooms, indoor games rooms, a lounge, and a dining hall. IIT Delhi's management body for sport strives to provide a top-notch facility for all sports. The students actively take part in the inter-IIT sports meet and bag various trophies. The institute also organizes a four-day annual sports festival in the month of February, where colleges from across the country compete in various sports. IIT Delhi has grounds for hockey, football, tennis, cricket, basketball, volleyball and various indoor sports. The Joint Entrance Examination, Advanced, is the common admission test for all the students seeking UG admissions at any of the IITs. The Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering is conducted for admission to various PG programs. IIT Delhi offers 12 UG, 5 Dual Degree and 38 PG courses. IIT Delhi has not changed its intake for the past three years. It has an approved intake of 749 UG seats, 102 Dual Degree seats and 1,035 PG seats. The total number of students pursuing an engineering degree at IIT Delhi is 5,100, out of which 86.14% are boys and 13.86% are girls. IIT Delhi brings in students from all over the world to study here. There are a total of 292 students from within the state, 4,782 students from other parts of India and 26 international students pursuing their engineering degree program. IIT Delhi also has a good number of PhD students. There are 1,686 full-time and 597 part-time students pursuing their doctorates. Last year, 249 full-time and 106 part-time students graduated with their PhD degrees. The UG and dual degree programs show a good graduation outcome, while the PG program's graduation has taken a dive. UG graduation has increased when compared to the previous years and 86.16% of the students have graduated within the minimum stipulated time, out of which 10.7% have decided to study further. Dual degree graduations also have improved and are now at 83.81%, amongst which 10.34% of the students opted to go for higher studies. The PG graduation percentage has faced a major dip and has decreased to 66.9%, while 13.4% of the students have chosen to study further. As we all know, many companies prefer IIT graduates because of the quality education rendered to the students. However, the UG placements have slightly dropped to 73.8% by employing 431 students 
for a median salary package of 13.06 lakhs per annum. Dual degree placements have progressed to 83.84%. 109 students were placed for a salary package of 15 lakhs per annum. The PG placements are below average, though the institute has pushed itself to 38.96%. A total of 219 students were placed and offered 12 lakhs as a median salary. IIT Delhi draws the attention of various organizations. Some of the companies that hire students from IIT Delhi are Adobe, Cisco, SanDisk, Tata Motors, IBM, Intel, Google, Oracle and much more. Almost all the faculty members from IIT Delhi hold a PhD degree. There is one faculty member for every nine students and these well-versed teachers assist students in all aspects of engineering to bring out the best in every individual student. Financially, IIT Delhi seems to be very strong by spending over 247 crores as their annual capital expenditure, out of which the large portion was spent on purchasing new equipment for labs. As operational expenditure, over 408 crores was spent, out of which a huge part was utilized on the salaries of the staff. IITs are known for their research activities. Last year, IIT Delhi received over 541 crores as sponsored research funds and over 27 crores was received as consultancy project funding. Rendezvous, famously known as RTV, is the annual cultural festival of the Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi. It is a four-day long event held in October every year, which has a footfall of over 70,000 students. Pro Nights have brought artists from different cultures together. It has been the main star attraction of the festival, with performing artists coming from the Indian film industry, as well as various bands from abroad. There are regular workshops and seminars in various fields of engineering that are conducted apart from the cultural events. IIT Delhi has shown good improvement in terms of its UG and dual degree programs. However, the PG program might need some improvement. The placed students are also given a very good salary package, which is always good to see. The institution also offers high-end research facilities with the exorbitant funds received. IIT Delhi is known for its key contributions to the country's developments. By virtue of having some of the best students and faculty in the country, all of which sums up IIT Delhi to be one of the finest institutions in the country. What other interesting college reviews would you like to see? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and for more information visit collegesuggest.com.